Greetings, you scum. My name is Krusty, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Today, I'm desiring the very simple cause of lining my pockets with a bit more cash, a bit more of the units, a bit more of the shiny, shiny, special, special juice that we shall use to rebel our way through the universe at an incredible speed. Isn't that right, angry, pink face, green body, alien fella? He's a bit depressed since he discovered his own mortality and found out that he can actually die and, and life is fleeting. What you do doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. If you think like that, but what I do matters because I'm the hero of the tale and what I do matters all the time. I can influence the whole universe with my actions. I am that imp Don't you turn away from me when I'm bigging up my own ego. You listen to me, alright? You're special and you're something. Even if you look like a pumpkin has been trapped by bubblegum. You are something special in this world, and I will prove it. No, I won't. No, I won't. I don't, I don't, sorry, I don't have the time. Good morning, beautiful world. Good morning, beautiful. Hello, little penis dogs. Hello. There's, there's little penis dogs, and there's a big penis dog over there. Where are you going? Let me feed you. You're... I am friends with the penis dogs. There's so many of them. Hi. How you you want some food? Cause I, I gave like you the the big one food, and now you're following me. You're swarming me. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop swarming me! I'm 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 very sensitive to penises. I understand what space means. All right, you disgusting little vile creatures. I'm quite concerned with your appearance, and I don't want you all rubbing up against me. Oh, there's a little baby. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into my freighter ship and see if there are any special high pay missions that I can take on. Blessings come from the stars and from the ground that are me. Hello. How are you doing, navigator? Yeah, yeah. Point, point at the thing. Point at the big glowing ball of a planet we see before us, right? Is that our planet? Is that our planet? It's probably our planet. We have a bunch of missions here that we can take on. I'm gonna take on Freedom, which is raiding the planetary depot. But it gives, a, it gives us hot ice, which might be worth something. I seem to recall in my memory banks inside my head that hot ice is worth quite a lot in this game. I'm not sure if that's true or not, or I'm getting it confused with something else. But I'm going to go ahead and assume that yes, hot ice is worth quite a lot. If it is not worth quite a lot, I'm going to be very disappointed. But we're going to go do it anyway. I'm going to go to a depot, I'm going to blow it up, and then I'm going to get the bloody hot ice, aren't I? Where's my ship? There's my ship. I've had problems raiding these depots before in the past. I'm pretty sure the game is kind of glitchy. And if I just shoot it, apparently this is a workaround. If I just shoot it, then it could bug out and I don't get the stuff and then I have to like respawn or like restart the game or something crazy like that. So instead what I have to do, I think, is I actually have to approach it. I have to walk up to it. Hello, I mean you no harm yet. Yeah. Some of that don't seem fair. Five stars already? Are you kidding me? Well, they're not stars. Five little angry, naughty shapes? Are you kidding me? I didn't do anything, not yet. Now I'm gonna do something. Give me your depot juices. Give me them all. As I was saying, the problem with these depots is you blow them up, but it doesn't register that they're blown up for some bloody reason. It's kind of broken. I'm not sure why this hasn't been fixed yet. Because from what I can tell, it's kind of a, a pretty common problem that a lot of people have been having. And I seem to be encountering that problem again. So I can't actually raid this depot right now. And I've got quite a few missions on me, which are thus Raid the Depot. And this is one depot, which is right near my base, which would be great for convenience, only it's not convenient that the, the bloody game is broken. And doesn't let me blow them up! <laughs> Wonderful. Better yet, I'm gonna go inside my capital ship. They shall not follow me inside the capital ship because they're afraid of the capital ship and what is inside the capital ship, which is me. Me and my plans. I don't even have to really do anything but my plans. The thought of my plans, they're the dangerous things. The things that spread fear around this whole bloody universe. I am the fear. I am the dread. I am the one thing that unites us all together. Not through joy and happiness, but through tears and misery. Now leave me alone. I wish to conduct my business free of police intervention. Community research. Oh yeah, okay. So this was the first week of the community challenges and you'll come together to do these things. I forgot about this. So this, we're gonna do the community research. We're gonna visit a marked planet. If necessary, use specialist polos 
portal address data to aid interstellar travel. Um, Specialist Poe, there is some little guy and some weird anomaly that is this kind of outside space and time that we went into, but we haven't actually seen in this series because we just we just haven't seen it. But I've seen it. It's some weird little guy and some big guy who is also quite weird. Should we go visit them so you understand who I mean? And here we are. Look at you, beautiful space anomaly in the spaces. You might be thinking, Krusty, what's the point in doing this? Why don't you just get on with the mission? Well, we haven't done this yet, and it might be a little bit confusing, those of you not in the know, exactly what I'm doing. Besides, we might want to do more missions for these fellas in the future, and if I explain it now, I won't have to explain it later on. Right? Exactly. All I know so far is they said something about existing beyond space and time, or whatever, and um, that's how they travel, and now they're here to talk to me, because I'm very special, I'm a traveller, and I can find answers or something like that. Something like that. I oh, know, I ain't paying that much attention. Hello? Hi. That's Polo. He's he's the little guy we're supposed to do the mission for. Do you have any information for me, Polo, while I struggle to walk up the stairs? Polo is busy analyzing reports lost in a world of data and needs no further assistance. They are keen that I continue my exploration. Alright then. Ah! Picking up the language very well. That guy also helps me out. He's got a cape, so he's automatically very cool. Do you need anything else? I'm gonna go on your little errand now, your little community your community errand that you need done. Don't worry about it. I'll do it. I'll do it all. There's a pirate out there. Well, all right then. Let's go kill ourselves a pirate and get a hundred grand. Uh, pirate! There he is, he's big and he's fast. Hi, big pirate fast man. Wanna die for me? Wanna die for me? Wanna give me a hundred units because I'm units and I'm seeking them? I am full of units and I need units more. How many units do I possess currently? 15 million. That's not a bad number of units, but die! I love it. I love it when they listen to me. Okay, so where do we have to go for this thing here? Uh, there's a portal right there. Uh, that would be the one we have to go to, I suppose. That portal. We've been through a portal before, of course, and now we have to go to that portal which would be the portal that we have to go to, which I've already explained. Hello, big, beautiful portal. How pretty is this planet, by the way? Like red grass and all that kind of stuff. This was the second planet that I wanted to set up on it, and they're both in the same system. This is my favorite system. You know what, little robot thing? This might be my favorite system. He doesn't care, he's all about himself. The portal yawns before me. I inhale deeply, awed by the imposing structure. Yep. Imp Polo's given me the glyphs. Fantastic. So I don't have to go around uh, putting the stuff in myself. Great. So I can just go in. The gooiness comes out. Reminds me of Ghostbusters for some reason. You know the part of the second one where the, like, the ooze comes out of the paintings and it like, comes out of the bathtub and all that kind of... It's like that. But blue. Okay, Polo, my friend. I'm infiltrating your portal. That's... Not a dirty thing to say. Unless you have a dirty mind. So... Clean your mind. Hey, there's a lot of people joining my game. Great! I suppose, if I wanted to interact with people, which I don't. But never mind. Dig for strange objects. Okay. Dig for strange objects. Easy. Easy. I could do that. Uh, if, if I can find some strange objects around here. I will know where to start digging. There's one right over there. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Digging for- This is Barry Technology Module, which may or may not be what I'm looking for. The Barry Technology Module, of course, would be the things that I use to get stuff for my base. It's- but... I'll try it out. No, John! No. Is that what I'm looking for? Hex Core. That's new, so that's- that's absolutely what I'm looking for. We need a hex core. Do we have any more hex cores in the immediate vicinity? Oh my god. This planet is amazing. Look at it. It's so goddamn beautiful. I just want to sniff it quite a lot. But I cannot, because that technology so far has not been invented. There's also a mysterious building down there, which I'm absolutely going to go and investigate. Hello, person. Hello, ball. They're just floating. Floating. They are floating. There is already a monument in this system. Okay. 
Well, I did, did I ask for that opinion? No. Please stop following me, Ball. Ball, please stop following me, Ball. Please stop following me, Ball, you're creeping me out. So I'm guessing people turn up like that in your game unless you actually invite them in and then you actually like properly play together, right? These are the whispering egg things. Okay, great. Well, if I attack them, they're, they're worth a lot, but I mean, owie. <laughs> owie, owie, owie. I'll just uh, repair this forsaken terminal in this forsaken temple and get something from my troubles. Returning user identified terminal now active. Unlocking data log continuation for analysis. I found a body. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. If there's a sp Did the ball just float by me? Some horror of twisted evolution. Warped by cruel nature. I can't help but picture what it would have looked like alive. I can't help but fear it will live again. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. 37 nanite clusters. That doesn't seem worth it for the reading. This isn't anything special. I've seen these places before, and if I get those eggs outside, then those things are going to come out the ground. What is it? What do you want? Honestly, stupid bloody balls. I've had enough. Are you, are you a spirit? Are you a spirit ball? <laughs> you can't get me here. I've made some kind of cave thing to collect your eggs. I'm very smart and not lazy at all. I, they're getting me. They're getting me. They're getting me. They're getting me. There appears to be no more buried technology anywhere around here, so I'm going to have to go off and fly a little bit further into the planet, and then hopefully we should be able to find those kind of things, and then we'll come back and we'll do... Well, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what the plan is. You make the mistake of assuming I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time I've done this kind of thing. What star system even is this? I don't know. Everything, I'm just I'm just surfing a big question mark right now is what I'm doing. This will do just fine. Let's just land right here, see what we we what we got around these other kind of locations right right now. Let's let's see what we got. Ah, I found one. Hopefully this won't bloody bla take that long, and I'll have them. Fortunately, through the power of editing, I can speed this up very very quick. So I will have them by the time you see me next. I now possess all the bits, and the next stage is to actually go into space and make contact with that polo feather. The little geki polo fella, so I'm going to be doing that. And then we'll find out what he's got in store for us next. I'm quite excited, a little curious, and a whole lot of wary. Now they detected your ship signature first, friend. They say you have returned with the samples. Shall we draw them across to our home now? We will be pleased to take as much data as you have. Research deeper, understand further. Okay, I'll give you a small sample of the 25 hex cores that I have discovered. Polo clicks their beak exuberantly. The sound of it echoing about the cockpit. They tell me they have transferred a gift to my accounts, and then I might spend it on something fun. I like fun. You may have noticed, traveler friend, that there is a new quest aboard our little home. A being fashioned from metal and soul by my own paws. They will help me explore synthesis and creation, transforming Quicksilver into exotic goods. You would like to meet them, yes? I feel they are a striking likeness for you, traveler friend. Sure, why not? 625 Quicksilver credited. That's opened up now! You've opened the back of the place! Great! This place has not been opened yet, so I can- now I can- Hello, little Quicksilver Synthesis robot! I can buy unique stuff from you, yes. That arm? Can I have that arm? I may have use for that arm. I don't know. You never know when you'll need a hand. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. Create exotic items from Quicksilver. You know what? Don't mind if I do. Mind blown. An unlockable gesture. A sparse horizon helmet. What the hell is that? It's like a little, a little blobby dolphin. I'm just going to unlock the mind blown thing then. Thanks. Thank you. Thing which looks like balls. <laughs> that wasn't worth it. Are you going to message me all the time now? Like, non-stop messaging me? Is that what you're going to do? I know! I know you'd be happy to take as much data, but I don't have any more data. So leave me alone. Stop messaging me. I'm agitated. I'm agitated. I wasn't, and now I am, suddenly. It just, it happens very, very quickly. I get agitated, and now I'm agitated, and I need to relieve stress. I need to accomplish something in order to feel better about myself. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that I know exactly what I need to be doing. And I'm gonna go and do that thing, and it's gonna calm me down before I really lose my freaking mind. Stop messaging me! Seriously, I don't have anything, alright? If I had something, I would go and take it to you. 
You think I'm so dumb and I need my hand held all that time? Remember, if you find some of those hex cores, I will trade them for Quicksilver. I know and I'm aware. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. S stupid fictional creation. Hey, little fella. How are, you, how are you doing? Why are you so friendly? I'll teach you to trust so easily. Ultimately, I am now left to question, was this whole adventure today worth it? Was it worthwhile? Did I really get up to anything worth putting the effort into? No, I don't believe that I did.